Hey there, this is Yoshi. Uh, this is an uh, update on this light that we got it uh, a little bit over a week ago. This is a Spider Farmer light. Uh, they sponsored this uh, light for me and sent it for me. Uh, I think it was a uh, Tuesday or Monday or something like that last week. Uh, this is uh, October, what is it? 6th, I think. Hold on a minute. No, I lied. It's October 8th, Saturday. And uh, those plants are the ones that I, uh, after all those arrangement, uh, decided what's gonna go under to. Uh, not much different from last year though, but the, the light is different because I had a, a super cheap uh, purple light before under those, um, these are Lupicrus Ladias, except for this one. This is a uh, Catlia Dawiana that I am trying to rescue. Uh, it never came in in a good shape anyhow so anyhow so that's that um i so i have four ridiculous whalier under the light and it's pretty close because it's higher shelf right and this is lower as you can see it's like about this much difference there and so it's uh indoor so uh the temperature stays a little warmer here than greenhouse sometimes and uh, uh, also uh, stable. So that's why I picked those ones. Uh, number one, uh, there's a three, well, those are for sale, so it might disappear in the process, but I have a uh, uh, Dendrobium antenatum. I don't do really well with this, guys. Um, it's, uh, how can you say this? Um, my problem child always no matter how many times i try they just don't want to grow well for me um anyhow so those are three there is a uh, uh, one gifted from paula uh, she told me to baby it so that's why it's in here uh, this is a, a love triangle and uh the this one particular one is the newest growth and it's doing well as uh, with the roots coming out so that's in here it's a little bit outer side of the light uh, because this is also a, a baby and means a rescue kind of so uh, they don't really want the stronger light so I that's why I put it on on the side I have um, uh, Angrecum didrei, or however you pronounce it. I killed one, and this is a new, um, a fairly new one. I think I got it uh, last uh, or, uh, Northwest Orchid meeting, I think. So it's about a week in there. Uh, I see a little new root tip coming out. So hopefully it's gonna do well. This is the um, uh, Mimog. Cofila Thompsonii. This is uh, this is gonna go somewhere. Uh, this it goes to Greg, but uh, I'm holding it for now. Uh, Brovophyllum. This is a temporarily. I need to uh, mount at some time, so it's not gonna be here forever. Um, Neophenicia. Uh, David from uh, uh, Mount Baker Orchid Society encouraged me to uh, do it under this light so it's gonna be here uh catlia rex this is a new acquisition i didn't make a video about this but this came from a orchidividas amazonicas came from a shell uh i just put it there. it came in uh, it came in as a bare root and uh, yeah it was not it's not really in a good condition so we'll see what happens this leaf though is pretty hard uh this one is pretty hard this one's pretty hard uh so it might have uh energy to come back well but i'm not sure the, those two new re uh, leaves are pretty wimpy so i don't know but anyhow uh here's the uh, uh violacea catlia violacea and the catlia uh Paparata, Lelia paparata carnea. 
Uh, this is on hold also, so this is not really mine, so it might go somewhere else, but... Uh, and then I put um, some uh, oddball. This is a Uticularia. I don't know if you know it, Uticularia, but uh, this is a rescue. Anyhow, Uticularia is a carnivorous plant. Uh, it has uh, some sort of a trap in under, and it's a... Uh, it can be in dump situation, but it blooms really cute uh, flowers. Uh, Uticularia longifolia. So it's supposed to give me a very big, like this big flower. It's a big for Uticularias, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I uh, just, uh, I had a, all, a lot of them, but uh, I just neglected. And then, so this is like a rescue. Uh, um talking about this particular one how it grows and stuff is a totally different subject and totally different video but and there's another violation this one's for sale so it might not stay uh, i have a, a lelia lindia has a two new roots so i want to see new root new growth so i want to see how it's going to do well here uh, here's another uh, rescue one. This is a uh, Wakalinia cross uh, Kalmara is here, and uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, I don't want this in here. Uh, Maxillaria sophronitis. This is kind of miniature one. This is already a blooming size uh, division. So we'll see. And here's another Dendrobium. This is uh, some sort of a hybrid. It doesn't really have a name. I don't know if it's registered or not, but that's that. It came back pretty well last year under a different light, but I want to see how it's going to do uh, any different under a spider farm. So that's why I picked that. And here is uh, just started growing uh, Caracetum type. This is a Rebecca Northern Cross uh, Caracetum Expansum. Uh, it's been on a rescue mode from last year too. Uh, for some reason, it just kicks in the growth really, really late. Um, the roots want really ideal to start watering, but I decided to water anyways, because at some point it has to get water. Otherwise this is going to die. This is what happened over here too. So it never grow well. So I want to see how it's going to do under that. And there's a uh, two, um, two uh, Carrier Rex uh, seedlings still in the uh, flask um, still in the flat, uh, flask and uh, uh, I am not I know some people already deflasked it but I want to see more growth out of this uh, it's going to grow it's going to keep growing anyways inside anyhow so uh, I want to see all those tiny, tiny ones to grow a little bit bigger. Uh, I'd rather wait in here than um, out the flask and then put it in a pot and hope for the best. This would probably have a better chance to grow more. So that's that. Oh, and then of course, there's another uh, carnivorous plant. Uh, this is a uh, uh, pink kiwi. I never can pronounce this. Um, it, it, we call it ping, right? Um, uh, this is Gigantia, and that's uh, Sandu. Uh, Adale uh, needs really, really high uh, humidity. But anyhow, uh, that's gonna be under. Those needs a really good light to grow. So we'll see what happens. So that is that. So these are the. Uh, um, plants that is gonna go under spider farmer and I will see more updates from now on so that's it thank you for watching and you guys have a good day bye